Hi everybody, so I'm back with another pinhole video, and this is the second take of this, so hopefully this one works. Um, I got a pinhole off of eBay that I kind of forgot about because I ordered this a month ago, and I finally got it. So, let's just jump into it. Um, I got the these Epcot 30, um, 30th anniversary pins. This one I have a double of. This is what it looks like on the outside. And then when you open it, that's what it looks like on the inside. And it says, to all who come to this place of joy, hope, and friendship, welcome. So on my board, I have one long like this. And then I'm going to have... It, um, it closed next to it. Then I got this set. This you could put in there if you want, or you could have them separate. And it's the figment. It just says Epcot 30, 30 years, and it has the date. And I'm trying to collect all the 30 um, years of Epcot pins, but they're really expensive. To be honest, um, I looked out on these two in the auction, but most of them they want like twenty dollars and up, which I just won't pay for a pin. I got this um, Bell the portrait one. I paid like six dollars for this one, and that I kind of regret because I don't spend that much money on pins normally. Um, I got four more of the crest pins that I was trying to collect. So I got Princess Jasmine. I have Punzel. I have Tiana. I have Ariel. And I believe upstairs I have Mulan. And I know I need to get Cinderella. The one from Brave, Pocahontas, and then, um, I know from Disneyland Tokyo there is Cinderella and Snow White, which I probably will never get. I got this Casey Jr. one. And that's because they're like $40 a pin, and they're nice, but they're not worth it. Got this little, um, Tinkerbell with a pixie dust one. And I think in the last haul, I got the Mickey Mouse one. I paid like three bucks for this one, so that I was happy about. Got this Figman Jr. Paid like $1.50 for him. The rest of these... Oh, no. I got these two. I got the Figment and Dream Finder. I paid maybe three bucks for the two of these. Um... Figment, Dream Finder, and Epcot pins are my favorite to collect, even though Epcot's not my favorite park. Next, I got some car pins. I got um, this Flying Mater. I believe these are all from, like, blind boxes and stuff. Got that one. No idea who this is, but it was cheap. It was, like, $1.50. I got this Racin Sport Network. Maybe I'll keep these as some traders. Um, this is my favorite um, Toy Story character. It's Mr. Prickle Pants. And this is the only second pin that I have of him or that I think exists. Um, because I used to have a hedgehog and I'm obsessed with hedgehogs. Next is this Disney's Hollywood Studios 25th Anniversary Pin. I know this is from Blind Box. It's just Mickey Mouse. Um, they find a Nemo. I'm not a fan of the Blind Boxes because they're like $26. So I don't normally buy the blind bags and boxes and everything. This is a Stitch Pin. It says 2015. Not a huge fan of anything that has a year on it. But since I am going this November in 2015, I figured it was appropriate. Next, I got the two character hat pins. I got um, Peter Pan. And I think this is Jafar, I believe his name is. They're very, very small. So, like, the pack of um, 
like five of these is like twenty six ninety five or something in the parks. To me, it's not worth it. I pay like a dollar fifty a pin for these. That's pretty much all it's worth to me. Like they're nice, but they're very small. Um, this is the. Oops. I'm trying to hold it from the back so I could show you. This is the Walt Disney World um, like blind box set, I believe. Might. I might just keep this as a trader. We'll see. And then last two, which are my favorites, and I need to get the collection, but they're such a big... Like, they're, I guess, such a big deal over them, and everybody has to have them, so... I'll wait till the price goes down. They're the donuts, and they're really big size. I thought they were going to be a lot smaller. But I got the Jiminy Cricket one. And I got the Peter Pan one. I pay like a dollar fifty a pin for these. Everybody else is asking like six dollars, eight dollars a pin, and I just can't see that. So when they are less popular, because I don't collect pins for the price, I don't collect them how because they're trendy. I collect them because I like them. So even when the craze goes down, I still love donuts and I think they're amazing. So then hopefully I can snatch some up. So thanks everybody for watching and have a great day.